Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. I'm going to take this opportunity to, to do another review of one of the submissions we had into the Power BI Challenge. And this one was from Brian Julius, one of our Enterprise DNA experts, doing just incredible work uh, in our community and also with the challenge, just um, enabling every uh, all of those participating to learn so much about high quality analytical solutions so i know a lot of you have been listening to me for a while um, and even from the early days when i recognized what power bi actually was it's an uh, the ability to create analytical solutions complete solutions around analytics it, it it really introduced something that wasn't possible before it wasn't possible for using excel and powerpoint and tools of tools of old um, and in my view, uh, Brian's submission here um, really, really highlighted uh, all of that, right? It is, it is a complete solution right down to the navigation features, um, the highlighting of key insights, the, 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 the ability to drive, d drill down into really granular detail. Um, it, is, it is the complete solution. Um, and I want to highlight a few really, well, I'm going to highlight three really um uh, awesome visualization tips um, or just like reporting report development tips that you know you you should be using or you could be using within your reports right you don't have to use them exactly the same way but you know it just makes your application your reporting application that much more compelling and you're going to draw on consumers your consumers are going to be more engaged in what you're showing them um, you know so i really want to highlight that just as a just as a quick um, recap, if you want to if you want to learn more about um, how Brian developed this, you know I'm probably not even going to do it justice. I mean, he actually he there, there's so many um, technical uh, formula techniques that he's used uh, in here that I'm not going to cover in this particular tutorial. Um, check out the Enterprise DNA forum um, within within the forum. I'll also make sure that we we make this link available as well. But within the forum, I just I just want to quickly show you. Uh, which is just forum.enterprisedna.co. Uh, every submission, what we what we're doing, every submission into the into the challenges, we are um, uh, we're we're trying we're trying to because we want the, the best thing about the challenges is that everyone's learning so much, right? And so what we've done is we've created a category in here, which is which um, where we are encouraging. Um, if I can just have, find it here, where where we are encouraging and project updates, where we're encouraging those who are submitting to actually write about their uh, work, like how they did it um, and uh, how they thought about it, how they how they uh, worked through it, how long it took them, etc. cetera. Um, and uh, Brian uh, spent a lot of time and effort detailing exactly what he did. And that's what um, uh, that's what I've navigated to here. Right. And so it's, the, it's this particular one here. So but you'll see here that there's, there's a lot. Right. And <clears throat> I would have to say I I myself am learning a lot. Um, you know, it has been one of the best things we've done uh, through Enterprise DNA because I'm learning so much myself about little techniques that I didn't haven't really used that much, um, and it's and it's really rejuvenated my my just my love of Power BI and how how good it is. I, I I'm, I'm not kidding there. Um, and and Brian Brian in, in my view is, showca is showcasing some some incredible work. And you know I'm yeah you know, I'm basically just going to I, I want to highlight it here. I really want to showcase to the world how good this stuff is and how much you can learn from it. Okay, so one of the one of the great things that I, I like about this initially is the navigation, right? I love I know within um, the updated um, Power BI apps, you can actually have a navigation um, effectively on the left hand side in, in the Power BI uh, in the online service. So you know wh whether you need to always do this is, is debatable, but it just looks much better, you know, from a from an application point of view, right? So the ability to sort of, sort of like click on a certain section of the report and be dynamically taken there through through bookmarks that you set up in your report right so I, I really like that um, I also within visualizations you know I think a lot of us can get really caught up in just having actual charts right whilst in mo in some cases it's 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 a good idea to have some written text like you would have done maybe in PowerPoint historically in Power BI, you can still do it right it can be static like this particular one is um, but it can also be dynamic you can create dynamic text within your Power BI reports. And I think that that adds an additional bit of color to your insights that, you know, might not be able to be um, evaluated by consumers if you were just showing them charts. Okay, so really have a think about that. 
one of the uh, one of the other great um and that's just a, you know that was just an aside that i wanted to talk about but one of the other really um good ways that i think brian has showcased key insights here is by using he's he has used a um a custom visual here which i'm gonna have a look at uh, i think it's this one here cards with states this is by okay viz right now but i don't think you you to be honest, I don't even think you really need to um, use this for, to be able to create this because what you, you can you can use like a card visual, but also some text, etc. Um, but what I like here is that more like more information is being given about the metric itself. Okay, and I think again we just see that this visualization um, palette has a card visual. You see here that I'm hovered over card, and you might think, okay, well I'll just basically take the out of the box card. But Brian, in this particular submission, thought a little bit outside the box, and he said, well, why don't we actually add some text to that so that the consumer you know, just ha is, is able to evaluate what this number means quicker, right? And so he's used it quite extensively in this report page, which I think adds a lot of value, right? Because if you just see 100%, you might just see like a, a, a little bit of a title or something. It just, it just might not be as descriptive as a little bit more, right? And um, I like the uh, extent in which it's done, okay? And, but it doesn't take up too much room in the report. The report still is consumable. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not overload, which, which I think is, um, uh, which, which, which really makes it um, high quality. Now, another tip uh, I want to do this. Look, I, I actually think I'm going I'm to have a chat to Brian and hopefully you get, you'll, you'll see a video, you know, a bit more about the, these unique insights here, right? These, this is, I just, I'm just more talking about visualization ideas here, but you know, there's some, there's some pretty interesting insights going on here uh, in terms of, you know, and techniques used with formula to actually make these happen. So hopefully we can get Brian to do a, a, a more detailed uh, overview of this at a, at a later point. Um, but I just want to show you a few other things, right, before we round off this particular video. So, so we've talked about um, one is the navigation, which is uh, you can also navigate back here. So I can you've, you've got a, a really simple icon, which is enabling us to do the evaluate um, navigation. Now, I'm going to click through to this one. Now, what I really like about this, this is a really cool idea. OK, so what Brian has done is he's in this one, he's in, I, like this is this is cool. I've, I've never done this before. Um, but what he's done is he said, okay, well, we've got a table view. This sort of shows us a table. But what if someone dynamically wants to actually look at a chart, okay? So what he's done is he said, you can click on um, this, div I guess, like a divider, I think it's called. Um, what is it called? Yeah, it's like a divider. I think I think it, I think it is actually, um, it escapes me. Is it actually a shape? No, I've, I have seen, is it a button? Hmm. Huh. Maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe it's an image. Maybe maybe it's an image. I'm sorry. Yeah, actually, sorry. It's just an image. But anyway, what he's done is he's enabled the ability to change from table view to chart view, which is so it's really original, right? Now, how has he done this? It's actually simpler than you think. Okay, this is not a dynamic chart in here. What he's done is he's created two different pages, right? Just a performance. Uh, he's got a, a performance table and performance graph, right? And then what he's done when someone selects, say, this particular visual it, uh, through bookmarks goes to the other page. So it looks like it's it looks like it's a d dynamic part of the um, uh, of the visual uh, of the report page, but it's actually a totally different page. And so all he's done, I presume, is he's embedded through some actions here or page navigation. Easy. So he hasn't even had to do bookmarks. All he's done. This is a, a an update to the action section. All he's done is he said he's created two pages that look exactly the same, one with a table, one with a chart, and then he's inserted an image or two different images, one with the um, divider on the left-hand side and then one on the right-hand side. And then he said, okay, if someone clicks it on this page, I want to go back to the performance table. If someone clicks it on this page, I want to go to the performance graph. But to me, that is a cool, is a, is a really cool idea really cool idea really thinking outside the box this is the great stuff that is coming out um through through um the power bi challenge right this is this is stuff which is embedded into people like brian's brains that we never would have accessed before before the challenge and that's why i love it so much so those those are my three main 
like uh, visualization tips that I wanted to talk about in this particular video. There, there's way more here that I, that I really, really like, and there's some supply chain optimization logic embedded into this report, um, which I, I think uh, Brian should explain himself. So hopefully, yeah, as, as mentioned in a future video, in a future video, we'll get Brian to um, you know to have a talk about um, how how he actually did did this because if you, it, just just as a bit of insight into this particular report, um, there is a lot of of detailed measures in here, right? That have been built out um, over over time. Um, well, and in, 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 they've been built up as this particular um, model has been developed, right? And then if I want to go, just go home here, I can just click on that. So if you want to, um, just as a reminder, if you want to have a read about how Brian did it, check out his detailed, um, his detailed um, write up here in the, in the forum. He goes through absolutely everything that he did. I, I read it through um, a couple of times actually, um, because some of it was, was quite new to me, especially around uh, route optimizations and cost savings but he really goes into detail around how, how that all works. Um, if you wanna actually download this particular report, we're creating a, um, a member-only uh, module inside of our portal, should be up uh, very, very soon. Um, and um, so you do obviously have to have access to our, our, our platform to be able to access, to actually um, access it. Oh, actually he's put it here. So look, it might still be here um, when you have a look at it. So, so definitely check it out if you wanna dive in and um, play around. Um, because again, lot, lots to learn. So hopefully you like those tips. Some of them not too hard. Some of them pretty easy. But um, you know they make a um, you know, a big difference to what what we uh, what you can showcase and how how you can engage your consumers. Okay, all the very best on this one. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise uh, DNA TV. Um, really enjoying putting out um, some of this great content from the challenges. Uh, and uh, if you really liked um, really liked the ideas here and also the um, the showcase here, definitely throw it a like. Um, really appreciate it. Okay, all the best.